Hi guys, welcome back. So today we will continue with navigation in Jetpack Compose. So in the previous video I discussed basic of navigation, how we can navigate from one screen to another screen. But today we will uh, discover how we can do nested navigation. Navigation inside navigation, right? Inside one route, how we can navigate in multiple routes, multiple paths, right? So before going into that, so let me uh, give you quick introduction about this navigation but you can check my previous video if you want to learn about it in detail but I will quickly just go through that how we can do so we use remember nav controller for remembering the nav controller in the memory so nav controller is the main controller which controls the navigation and we use nav host there it maintains the bridge between the nav controller and nav graph navigation graph and what is navigation graph navigation graph is which maintains all the composables which provides the routes in the navigation right all the routes so suppose uh, if we want nested navigation in uh, some places like uh, on the auth screen if we have some login screen and register screen and forward password screen all that is a part of single navigation if we want to maintain we can use uh, nested navigation there with the auth root right authentication so but here i will take another example so for login let's assume we are using two routes username and password on the different different screens so but that will be a nested navigation right before going to home screen we will be doing nested navigation and then finally we will be going to uh, home screen right so let's say so for that uh, here we use composable and if you see this is the actually root right but for that if you want nested navigation we use navigation extension method to navgraph builder it is extension method to navgraph builder right so navgraph builder is what actually builds the navigation graph right so here we need because in the nav host we need some start destination which will be the starting point well the when the first route will be rendered right so here also because it maintains its different navigation graph right so it also needs start destination it's pretty simple so let's say inside this we have inside login we have two uh, nested routes username and password right and start destination is username so now we will be using the same thing composable root let's say this is username and all this will go inside this fine and let's say we have one more nested root here password so let's say let's give it name username and from here how we will be navigate to nested navigation it's the same as we usually navigate like we will pass name of the root here that is password from username we will be going to password and then suppose from password suppose here we have next right and here we have submit and go to home here we will be going to home so let's check it What is the issue here? Why it's failing? Oops, we didn't check this. So let's run it and see it. So this is the let me explain the flow now. So in the main nav host, in the main navigation, what we have is start destination is login. So it will check for for the login route, right? So there it will find for login. This is not, this is not. So this one is for login, right? Root is login here. It will check inside this then. So this is, it will find that it is nested navigation inside this. It will check its first destination, right? 
that is username so it will go to username you can see here then if let's say we want to go uh, now username is field we want to go to password here it is the password and let's say now we want to go to home so previous navigation was nested navigation and this one from there this is the normal navigation this is not the nested navigation so let's say but one issue you will observe here is so usually after entering username and password and uh, finishing the login if user go to home screen what will happen is we don't want if user presses back button we don't want uh, him to go back to password and then username the same flow right if we will check it here it will go into password then to username right but this should not happen but because we did this inside nested navigation but one thing which we miss this so while while we were moving to this password sorry from now this password while we are finishing this nested navigation here we are finishing this right while we are going to home so here we need to do one thing pop up to so that up to which route up to login right so it will clear it will clear all the stack entries uh, so before moving home it will clear all the stack entries like username and password up to login so right so let's check it again if you go username to password password to home and if we come back it will just finish why because here we have cleared this username and password navigation that is the nested navigation right fine so this one is the main uh, way of using the nested navigation this part is very important if we want to clear all the previous nested navigation right then we need to use this method here right But if we don't want, if in some cases if we want to uh, use that thing, so let's say we are on the home screen, right? So uh, let's say you can take the example of Instagram on the home screen. If we click on any profile, uh, there is the nested navigation. Then, right? From home, you are going to that user's profile detail, and if we then we click on any uh, another tab, so and then come back to home, it will maintain that state. But uh, let's say if there we don't want to clear that, so we don't need to do, do this pop up, right? So and there are also some other cases as well where we don't need this, right? That depends upon completely our flow, like how we are implementing, which part we are implementing, right? But usually we need to clear the nested navigation, right? In these kind of flows, like authentication, login, this kind of flow, we used to clear this. So that is the proper way of doing that. So this is about the nested navigation, guys that is very similar to the navigation simple navigation instead of composable we use navigation here and inside that we use uh, multiple composables that is for nested navigation and this is similar to the composable an extension to navgram builder right so this is about the nested navigation guys in the coming videos we will be covering more topics related to jetpack compose so stay tuned for that Till then, bye-bye, take care, have a great time, keep coding.